Hello, and welcome to the Oklahoma Parent Center series called Communicating with Your Child's School. My name is Melissa Davis, and I am a parent child advocate with the Oklahoma Parent Center. This session will focus on developing a follow up letter. When you have written a letter or sent an email making a request, you should get a response from the school either by telephone or in writing within a reasonable amount of time. In some cases, reasonable is defined. However, in other cases, the timelines are not so exact, so be reasonable in your expectations. But if you feel too much time has passed, say 10 school days or so, without receiving a response to your letter, then call and ask if your letter or email has been received. If you are sure the school has received your letter, for instance, if you sent it certified mail, then ask when you can expect an answer. More than likely, when you call, you will talk to a secretary or administrative assistant. Leave a message for the person you wrote to and ask if that person call you back. If your request still goes unanswered, then you may want to write again. It's useful to enclose a copy of your original letter or email with this letter, but be sure not to send your only copy. Remember, you always need to have a copy for your records. You would want to start your letter with the date, then your name, address, and phone number. In the next paragraph, you would put the name of the person you originally wrote to, along with their address. Then you begin your letter with, dear person. The first paragraph, you would say that you wrote to them on this date and also called to make sure that they had received a letter. You also left a message for them to call back on this date, but since you have not heard from them, you thought it was best to write again. Then in the next paragraph, you would say what you were requesting. The next paragraph, you would say that you would like to hear from them by a given date, say three to five school days out, and thank them for their prompt attention in the matter. And then you would sign it sincerely and your name. You would enclose a copy of the original letter if you are sending it in the mail. Of course, an email would be slightly different. It would not have the opening of your name or address or that of the person you wrote to or their address. You would simply add that letter to the chain of the original email. This sample letter and many others can be found on our website at www.oklahomaparentscenter.org under the Parents tab. Or if you feel you need further assistance from one of our advocates, you can call us toll free at 877-553-4332. And one of our parent child advocates would be more than happy to assist you further. Thank you.